this day and age, this is possibly one of the worst things that can happen to you. One day without my friend, I'd go crazy. Mobile phones have transformed our lives. Over three quarters of a sample of students could not bear to be without their mobile phones. This is astonishing for a piece of technology that is so relatively new. And so we beg the question, what has happened? Why for that phone? What? Without a phone, you can't live these days. Because there's so much stuff I need to do around university. Meet up with mates here and there, sort out courseworks, group meetings, and without that, I'd just be in total mess. Without, without a mobile phone, I'm screwed. You can't do anything about your phone anymore, man. You need it. As you can see, mobiles are definitely an integral part of students' lives. They have come a long way from their humble beginnings to the advanced technology found on today's phones, making it the ideal gadget to own. We are students to talk about their first phones. Um, my first mobile phone was the Nokia Face Off. I think it was a 402 or 602. And I had it in my first year of school. I think it was like 3210. Like, I think it was just like my sister got a new phone, so I got that. It was right. Just didn't really use it much because I was only like a little kid. Um, it was that Nokia brick thing, the big one. And uh, you got those different, you know, faces. That was cool. Love it or hate it, the media has taken advantage of the capability today's mobile phones offer. To be fair, it's everywhere you go. Every shop has uh, mobile phones advertising. There's advertisements all over the television. It is through varying forms of mediums that they are advertised to us, from magazines, TV, to film, and even at your local cinema. Less widescreen, more phone screen. It's a need now more than a want. Because new phones are constantly shown in the media, a need has now been created where we are told what we need, and we are told we won't be part of the cutting edge unless we own the very latest model. I know there's new phones coming out, and. Every day you like think, oh my mobile is so insufficient because something new has come out. Are you doing that? What once was basically a telephone has now become an entertainment centre. Now you take photos, connect wirelessly to computers, there's games you can play. It's no longer a telephone. It has little to do with communication. It has to do with entertainment. I don't know, maybe you'll have a chip in your finger and you can use it as a phone. Um, I, I, I don't know. The technology is like increasing every day. Um, there's so many new models coming out. Phones are getting smaller, thinner. I mean, I've seen an advertisement on iPhones and before it was an MP3 player, now it's becoming a mobile phone. When you had your own old phone, you would not expect what you got today, so I don't know how you can think what it's going to be like in the future. In the future, phones will effectively be an aggregation of a number of contemporary technologies. For example, personal digital assistants, laptop computers, and TV remote controls will all be part of a mobile phone. One way of thinking about the mobile phone in the future is to say it will become the object into which all other technologies have been absorbed. <laughs>